What do you get when you take the two premier Negro bedwinches in America in 2016 and put them together with the radio station that is supposed to be all about hip hop, but yet they have one black DJ, at least that I can name, which is Funk Master Flex, and a bunch of Hispanics and white folks. Same thing, basically. And <laughs> and it's supposed to be a hip hop station. And one of their biggest claims to fame other than having very controversial radio DJs who made fun of celebrities dying and made fun of people dying in natural disasters, aka Hot 97. Well, when you take Hot 97, Azealia Banks and Stacey Dash, put them all together, well, this is what happens. So Hot 97 said the following on social media, hashtag congratulations, you played yourself, Stacey Dash and Azealia Banks, hashtag queens of playing themselves, which is the truth. Azalea Banks, the devil herself, said, Congrats, Hot 97, kings of keeping New York City Negroes dumb, black, and broke. Ebro and Peter Rosenberg are peanut brains. Nothing intelligent or abstract about either of them. Ebro, old yellow cornbread face, and Peter Rosenberg's trash ass, cynical white guy persona. Two basic bitches, if you ask me. Whop, 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 whop. <laughs> Hated it. Let me tell you something, Azalea. You whore. <laughs> First of all, you're going to call Ebro the mulatto yellow cornbread face, making a reference to his complexion, and mention that Peter Rosenberg is white. Didn't you just get in trouble for talking about somebody's ethnicity? Didn't she talk shit about that white boy singer or whatever, Middle Eastern, whatever, genetically a Caucasian at the end of the day? Didn't you make fun of this dude? And basically get into <laughs> all types of trouble. And they were basically saying your career is over. To the point where you just announced that you quit rap. And that you want to be a singer now. So I guess you think this is going to save you. I mean you got to think about it like this. Azalea Banks wants to be a mainstream musician. And hey that's fine. If that's what she wants to do. It's her life right. I mean she might be a worthless stinking negro bed when she said that she wants to kill. Excuse me. Not that she wants to. That she is going to kill all black men. She might be the devil herself. She might be trash and she might be a joke. However, she does have the right to be a mainstream musician, which she tried to do and she failed that miserably for many years. And here she is trolling the internet in her, what is, what is she, in her mid to late 20s? I think she's in her mid 20s. And instead of doing something very constructive with her time, she does something destructive with her time by criticizing Peter Rosenberg's whiteness and Ebro's yellow cornbread face, whatever the hell that means. All I know is that yellow is a reference to his skin, his skin complexion, which she wishes she was because she bleached her skin or lightened, brightened, whatever she did to her skin to be technical about it because she did say something about writing some article or whatever about the differences between lightening, brightening, bleaching your skin, and I forget what the other one was. I think it was like four different things. And when that article was posted, once I hear that it's out there, because I'm pretty sure I'll end up coming across it one way or another, I plan to make a video about that, letting you guys know exactly what she said. But if you're bleaching your skin, don't you wish that you were a yellow cornbread face too? Or a trash ass, cynical white girl? And what's a basic bitch? Is a basic bitch a chick who says that she's gonna kill all of the men of her race that poses for Playboy magazine? who brags about being put on a false white pedestal, her words, not mine. I would think that that would make you a pretty basic bitch. I mean, I would say level one Tetris. But hey, that's just my opinion. What the hell do I know? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. You surely were crying on this show for somebody who wants to shade them now, for the record. Anyways, let me know what you think about it below. Meat Magazine.